hey guys welcome back to this channel all right so today we'll be learning how to make this carrot body butter fine i know you love to see how i made this but if you are new to this channel please subscribe so thank you guys for subscribing and if you subscribed earlier i really want to thank you for your support so far remember in our previous video where we did this carrot oil i promised you guys that we're going to use this carrot oil to make our carrot body butter so in this video we'll be making our carrot body butter so if you've not watched the video of how we made this carrot oil you can go back and watch it in our previous video all right let's go to the main video so this is our carrot oil i actually whipped it that's why it looks like this all right so to make a butter from this oil we're going to be adding shea butter this is because carrot oil on its own cannot make a butter because it's too liquidy okay so we added shea butter for this recipe please this is a diy thing and i actually did not drop any measurement for this so you can just watch how i did this and then you can make yours okay so we're going to melt this shea butter and carrot oil to get a pure liquid so this is our shea butter and our carrot oil you can actually substitute your shea butter to any other butter like avocado butter mango butter or cocoa butter I use shea butter in this recipe because it is readily available all right so we're going to be freezing this oil in a freezer for some time and before we do that we're going to transfer this into a ceramic plate because this is a breakable plate and i do not want it to get cracked in the freezer so i'm going we're going to take it the oil with this and freeze all right so here is our frozen oil the shea butter and the carrot oil you can see that it's still a bit soft because oils cannot freeze 100 percent all right so here we have uh carrot oil and shea butter all frozen up and we're gonna beat this until it gets fluffy and beautiful so i'll be using my mixer to mix this if you do not have a mixer please do not worry you can place this in your blender and blend smoothly blend very well remember that this oil is just one step away from being liquid so you have to to mix very well to make this um, butter retain its buttery form you have to mix this very well if you mix um, too lightly you might it might end up going back to being liquid all right so and the best way to preserve this is in the refrigerator okay so this is the best time to add all your remaining ingredients so first we're going to be adding some few drops of my fragrance um i'm using um strawberry fragrance here I kind of like strawberry fragrance and banana fragrance so in uh, recipes like this I prefer to use my strawberry fragrance and so I'll also be adding some few drops of my German plus preservatives um, I might not use this whole thing for a short period so I just decided to um, preserve it if you're gonna use yours for a short period you can skip this out and then I'm adding some few drops of cinnamon oil. I like this in every kind, every of my recipe because cinnamon oil is a whole lot for acne treatment and pimples and, uh, and smooth face and, and so many others. So I just felt like dropping a few drops of cinnamon oil to this recipe. And then I continue to mix this fluffy thing. See how beautiful it looks. Man, I just feel like I'm going to eat this thing after making it all right so we're gonna keep mixing and mixing we don't just want to hurry so that we do not get a liquid after this whole process and so you just have to store this in a cool place preferably your refrigerator so it doesn't just have to melt this is so beautiful 
so please if you've not subscribed to this channel please help me hit that subscribe button like this video share i really appreciate all my subscribers so far thank you for all your support so we're transferring this butter into a container see how beautiful this looks please do not eat this so <laughs> thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in my next video bye